Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Welcome back. Earlier this week, we talked about how to identify and connect with your first publishers. And you're probably going to start with two or three decent publishers, but those won't last you forever. Eventually, you're going to need to add more higher authority publishers if you want to be successful with your link building campaign in the long run. This is due to the law of diminishing returns when it comes to links coming from the same external domain. When you first earn a link from a new domain, that link will pass significant authority to your site. However, earning a second link from that domain will only pass a fraction of that original authority to your site. Posting your 10th or 12th link will pass an almost insignificant portion of that original authority and so on until each link passes almost nothing. This is because you've essentially already won that domain's third party vote for your site's trustworthiness. These links will still generate brand visibility and referral traffic, so they're often worth building, but eventually this law will force you to seek out new sources or start forfeiting the long-term compounding results of your campaign. So this is how you can go about building up your number of publishers. First, identify high authority sources. Your long-term goal should be to identify and build relationships with some of the highest authority sources online. There are many ways to find these high authority sources, some of which are totally intuitive. First, make a list of all the major content publishers that you read on a daily basis and all of the noteworthy influencers in your industry Keep a list of these publishers in a spreadsheet because you can't go straight from small level niche publishers, which is what you're starting out with, to these major players, but you're going to want to keep them in your mind as you start working on your next level of publishers. In the meantime, you're going to want to shoot for more middle of the road publications with authority scores in the neighborhood of about 40 to 60 and then 60 to 8 to 80. It can be tough to find these. They're not as specifically targeted as your niche specialists, nor are they as prominent and recognizable as your major players. It's gonna take some research and some digging to find these sources. However, once you find them, you'll follow almost the exact same process that you followed when you pitched your new topics to your niche sources. Except for this time, you're gonna have more features on external publications to beef up your portfolio and sell yourself. And then you need to learn to handle rejection. Even if your pitches are fantastic, your demeanor is polite and professional and you have ample examples of what a great content marketer you are, you're going to get rejected a lot. Don't take it personally and don't take it as a sign that you shouldn't be link building. It's a normal part of the process. Ask for feedback when you can so that you can learn from any mistakes that you might be making, but otherwise simply cut your losses and move on. There are tons of publishers out there and too many of them can benefit from you for you to dwell on the few that don't want to work with you. And remember, like all things in this process, it's going to take time and a lot of hard work and patience, but you'll get there. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.